Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. I'm going to start glazing over the wax resist. And I've got a couple different methods of glazing simple pots like this. Um, one is the old dip method, and the other is using a ladle to pour the glaze, which has its advantages because it, um, I can kind of have a, a, a more rambling line on the bottom and I don't have to just cover it completely with glaze, which is nice for the soda because then I just um, have that flashing on the bottom, which works out pretty nice. Um, I, but I guess part of the reason why I got comfortable using the ladle is because I'm kind of a rabid glaze tester and it seems like I always have tiny little containers of glaze and I had to figure out how to glaze larger pieces without being able to dip them. And um, if you don't have a good ladle, that's another good tool to get. This is my favorite one and it's from Ikea. And I think they only set, sell them now with sets of other utensils, but I like it because it's a thin plastic material, which works really well to kind of uh, pour, the, pour the glaze without it sticking or dripping too much. And it also has a nice deep ladle so you can get quite a bit of glaze in it. And I like them if they're slightly oval in shape versus big round ones. But Go to a secondhand store and get a few of them and play around with them and see if you see if you have a different preference. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and ladle this. The other good reason why I ladle is because this particular glaze, when it overlaps versus just a single coat, you can get some different effects, different, different um, saturations of the color as it's overlapping versus just a single layer. But I'll show you the ladle with this guy. Here we go. And I'm looking for that kind of undulating bottom. And notice I kind of move the piece and the ladle as I go around. Start at the bottom and just kind of go up. And then I can go around, maybe do a couple little spots where I double it up. Just kind of welcome a little bit of inconsistency with the amount of glaze that's on there. And you can see where it kind of pools up on the wax. I've been doing this for years and I still love seeing that glaze pull away from the wax. So this one is pretty much ready to go. There's a couple little spots I can touch it up if I want. I don't get too carried away with this touching up stuff, but if you have an illustration or something on there that you think is going to um, get lost without having those lines defined, then you might want to go in there and just touch them up. 